Good morning guys. So a lot of you requested that I record a full day of eating after watching my how to stop bloating tips and the different foods that I incorporate throughout my diet and just to kind of see how I use them throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and do that today. First things first, I am starting with my shot of apple cider vinegar. I did put it over ice this time as recommended by one of my beautiful subscribers to uh, dilute it a little bit and stop the burning of my throat. <laughs> so cheers to that. Thank you for the suggestion. Here we go. Ugh. Still awful. Blech. Especially right after brushing your teeth. Woo! Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> Got my cheerleader in the back. I've also poured myself a glass of celery juice. It's about four ounces in here, and I'm going to sip on this while I cook my breakfast and during my breakfast as well. to be my pre-workout meal and it is egg whites, oats, coconut oil, and blueberries and then I will top that with some cinnamon. So those of you who commented that you're team casserole and you like to mix all your food together, here we go again. <laughs> I have my oats are at the bottom, my egg whites are all mixed in, blueberries on top, cinnamon, and my coconut oil and now I'm going to stir it all together. And the meal? We just got back from the gym and my post-workout meal is the bite meals tilapia and I threw in some asparagus in there and then jasmine rice as well. I'm going to be seasoning it with some turmeric and some cayenne and this is going to go on a bed of lettuce with some fermented veggies as well. Here is the finished product. You can see the fermented veggies on top. Yes, I still eat tilapia even when I'm not in prep because I thoroughly enjoy it. Eat what makes you happy, guys. And I'm going to be taking one of my digestive enzymes. I already took my probiotic first thing this morning, and you guys saw in the clip earlier that I sipped on my celery juice and I already had my apple cider vinegar shot as well. So. Ooh. Ugh. There we go. <laughs> Who needs a boyfriend when you have a roommate? Seriously, though, um, we just got a knock at the door, <laughs> and uh, Amanda thought it was her tripod, and she started opening it up right in front of me, and then she ran in her bedroom, this is your Christmas present! <laughs> but then she came back out, and she wants me to open it, so. You need this. She says I need it. Pretty bow. I know, isn't that cute? I'm so impatient when it comes to people opening their gifts early. Like, I just want you to like open it once I get it. I love it. Isn't that cute? This is really cute. I don't know what it is, but the, the, the packaging, packaging is on point. It doesn't say any brand no, name, it nothing? Says nothing. That's smart of them. I like that. I don't, don't want to like make it unpretty. Oh, that's okay. All presents have to get unpretty after. It says it's something I need. Yeah. I really know what I need. It's a box. <gasps> Slippers! Yeah! Oh my god! I know! <laughs> I'm so excited! And they're I want to see if they fit. Oh my god! <gasps> Yay! You have needed slippers so bad. so bad. And you're going to need them in Chicago. That's why I wanted you to open it up now. <laughs> Love you! I'm going to put them on like literally. Like okay, there's no way. Slippers are ratchet as so fuck. Ratchet. Like I can like feel the ground. Yeah. Them because I wear the hell out of them. I like wear these in public. Yeah. I wear these in public. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my god. I love seeing people happy I'm when they so open presents. Happy. Yay! I'm just working on some client programs right now and I'm about to have a snack. I'm going to be having the, the Bite Meals Bite 5 cookie. This is probably my favorite sweet treat on their treats menu. It's dairy free, it's gluten free, so it's definitely something that my body can handle and digest well and tolerate and it tastes amazing. It's called the Bite 5 cookie because there's only five ingredients. The ingredients are dates, gluten free, certified oats, pea protein isolate, banana, and peanuts. And the macros are really good. Two fat, 15 carb, and 4.6 protein, 96 calories. So, snack. You just made me all. <laughs> We're obsessed. She likes hers warmed up, and I like mine straight out of the freezer. We agree on most things, but there are like a few different random things that we do very differently. Like, I mix my food, and she doesn't. <laughs> Look guys, I have my new slippers on. I love them. I love them. I even have my special little mug that I got from one of my clients. Thank you so much. 
sweatpants zone. It's pretty much our lives around here. Back to work. Next meal is the Bite Meals Lean Ground Beef Bite Bowl. This is one of my favorites on the menu. It is lean ground beef, and then there are some black beans and a little bit of corn in there. And then it also comes with a little side of salsa and a macro-friendly version of guacamole. What's up guys? Sorry, it's a little dark in here. I'm sitting in my car in a parking lot. Um, I took a little bit of a break from work. I've pretty much been working all day and all night. That's the reality of most of my Friday nights, just working on client plans. But honestly, when you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. And I am so incredibly blessed and so fortunate to be doing something that I love and something that I'm so passionate about and something where I'm able to help so many people. I don't even realize how many hours I spend sitting on the computer working on plans because I love it. So I do have a Christmas party that I am attending tonight. Uh, one of my girlfriends owns Elevate Performance, a gym in Huntington Beach, California, and the Elevate Performance Christmas party is this evening. I did eat a meal in the last clip that you guys saw. I ate that right before I left so that I wouldn't be hungry when I came here because I know that there are going to be tons and tons and tons of treats and lots of food and lots of different things that are probably not going to agree with my digestive system. Another tip for staying on track if you don't want to be tempted is to eat before you leave so that you aren't starving. If you're starving, you're more likely to indulge in some things. It's okay definitely to have treats in moderation if they don't bother your digestive system. Personally, for me, I don't even feel like a bite or two is worth it sometimes because I know what it does for me. So that is why I ate before I came, but I am going to head inside and join my friends for the Christmas party. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Look, there's not even any pizza left. What's up, guys? So I am here. Can't see it? at the cryo zone. <laughs> Yesterday I had another really intense deadlift session at the Barbell Brigade. That video is probably not up yet. My camera wasn't working when we were there for some reason, so I had Austin there. Luckily he was filming and he's gonna be doing a really sick edit of that workout footage for you guys, so stay tuned for that. I am very, very sore today and I have not been consistent with cryotherapy because I've been so busy and to be perfectly honest with you, it's been a little bit chilly outside here, so I've been a little bit apprehensive to go and it just goes to show how much I need it because my body is taking a toll on me and my recovery has not been on point. Ultimately it impacts my ability to train as hard as I want to. So here I am getting in a cryo session. It is much needed. I will show you guys that are maybe new to my channel who aren't familiar with cryotherapy or why I do it or what the heck it is. You can see it all go down and I'll explain a little bit to you guys and why I do it and why it's so helpful. Hey, what's going on? So we're doing cryotherapy with Karen. Um, it's obviously great for recovery. The cold helps reduce inflammation and swelling. Uh, it stimulates circulation, which is really great. Um, after a workout, as you get that buildup of lactic acid, it flushes out you know, toxins, it makes you feel great. Um, it kind of numbs any of the affected sore areas. I obviously don't work out like she does, but after a workout when I do it, it takes that achiness to just kind of a relaxed fatigue. I have better range of motion. I don't feel as sore, so it's it's great if you're working out like Karen does. So. How uh, cold is this getting today? So for level three, the coldest level that you're doing is uh, over minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> so, so you're stimulating a fight or flight response from your body. We're dropping the surface temperature of your skin down to about 35 degrees Fahrenheit, which then triggers that response. Your brain starts pushing your blood to your core to protect your vital organ. Your blood circulates closer to your heart, your lungs, your liver it picks up hemoglobin and red blood cells which carry oxygen. So when you step out, your blood vessels expand and that oxygenated blood flushes back into your extremities and then that really stimulates and aids recovery. So. As soon as I get out, I feel like I'm in like a state of euphoria. Like I yeah. feel like so good. Well, there's an adrenal rush and a rush of endorphins uh -huh. going in your brain. So it really... It's really great, like you said, after workout, but I'm actually going to go work out after this because I feel like um, you have such a great energy rush. People do it both ways. Yeah, so it's, I switch uh, it up all the time. This whole like talking while we're doing this makes it go by faster. Yes. Oh, it's so cool. That's part How much of longer do I have? You've got 40 seconds. <laughs> Alright, right, y'all, that is it. Three minutes in, three minutes out, and like I said while I was in there, it definitely helps with energy. I feel like an instant energy boost, and I'm feeling really good to go crush my back workout today. There's a cryo zone here in Los Angeles, and there's one in Dallas as well, so go get your butts into the cryo zone. That is it, guys. Time to go train. Just got to Gold's, guys, and I'm going to show you how you 
really take pre-workout. Cheers. Down the hatch. I'm just kidding. You don't actually have to take your pre-workout like that. Do you guys remember Fun Dip from like back in the day? That was like probably one of my favorite candies. Taking my pre-workout like that makes me feel like I'm eating Fun Dip. So, <laughs> for those of you that are wondering, I just took one scoop of the NLA for her uplift. This has been the pre-workout I've been using for four plus years. Raspberry lemonade is bae. I am gonna go crush this back workout. I feel really, really good right now. Make sure cryo, make sure I have really good pre-workout. Here we go, time to go train. What's up guys? So I just finished an amazing back workout. I don't know what it was, but I was feeling so motivated. I maxed out on lat pull downs, on cable rows, and on dumbbell rows. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really strong. This is exactly where I wanted to be at the peak of my off season. I'm just really fueled and really fired up for 2017 and for the season ahead. Still got a little bit more time in the off season to increase my strength. I wanted to show you guys, as you may have remembered from my How to Stop Bloating video, I mentioned some of the amazing benefits of glutamine. Now, yes, glutamine is fantastic for recovery, but it also aids as sort of like a band-aid for your stomach lining and it helps to heal the small intestine. That is why I included glutamine as one of my favorite supplements for gut health. I personally make sure to get in five grams of it a day and since it is post-workout, it is an optimal time for me to get it in uh, for recovery and then it's also going to benefit my stomach as well. So, in my cup here, I have one scoop of NLA for her, her aminos and five grams of powdered glutamine. I'm gonna drink this while I'm cooking my post-workout meal. So my post-workout meal is going to be one of my custom bite meals. It is four ounces tilapia, three ounces sweet potato, and four ounces roasted seasonal mix. Total calories is 203 calories, two grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein, so a solid, post-workout meal. I'm also going to be taking one of my digestive enzyme capsules before this meal. I decided to combine two days worth of eating in this vlog, show you guys a little bit more of what I'm eating and how I incorporate a lot of my foods that I showed you in the How to Stop Bloating video. I'm going to be doing one digest all digestive enzyme capsule before this post-workout meal. You guys re might remember this probiotic. It's important to switch up your probiotics. I switch off between this Garden of Life Once Daily Women's Probiotic and then when this bottle is finished, I use the NLA for her probiotics. And then once this bottle is finished, I go back to the Garden of Life. So I'm constantly flip-flopping back and forth. Those are the two that I love and that I have found work the best for me. And I think my food's burning, so let me go check it out. Nah, we still good. Looks so yummy. The roasted seasonal mix is so amazing. The sweet potatoes are cubed and seasoned with cinnamon and the tilapia is seasoned to perfection as well. This is definitely one of my favorite custom meals. What's up guys? So I am out running some errands and I stopped at the juice bar to pick up a turmeric shot and a ginger shot. I spoke in the last video about how ginger is really good for digestion. It even says right here on the bottle, digestion booster. What I like to do is grab one of their glasses and I pour both of them in the same glass and take them as kind of like a double shot. Day. I'm gonna get my coffee fix. I have a lot of work still left to do for the day, and Amanda and I are gonna be filming one more challenge. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I just stopped and picked up all the things for it, and this might be the best one yet. Stay tuned for it, guys. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, guys, so before bed, I am going to be doing four ounces of the bone broth that I'm going to pour in this mug and heat up, and then I'm going to have four ounces of my aloe vera juice. No particular reason that I like to have these at nighttime or before bed after I've finished eating all the rest of my meals. It's just the way I like to do it. Ending the night with something warm with the bone broth. The aloe vera juice has just kind of become a routine. Making sure those little things like the glutamine and the aloe vera juice and your apple cider vinegar, getting into a routine with it. I don't find that there's really any, any special time of day to get in the aloe vera juice, 
but for me it's become a routine to get it in at bedtime that's when I remember so that's when I do it biggest advice or strategy here is just to get in a routine with something because that way you will remember to do it all the time I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and that you got some ideas of how I incorporate all these different foods in throughout my day if you have any questions of course leave them below to help you guys out thank you so much for being here please remember to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys next time